Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Legend of Hero Trails in the Sky. Today we're gonna go confront, I think, Kyle and Josette? Or Don? Probably Kyle or Josette. Don seems like he's the leader leader. Uh, so that might not come to later. Oh, but like... What about here? Is that? Yep, this looks like the Sky Bandit boss's room. No! Not yet. We gotta go... There's a rock wall at the end of the passage. Is this a dead end? No, it looks like there's something here. Shall we try pushing on it? Push it? Push it real good. That is a crappy rock wall. It just collapsed. This was a secret door. That's quite a neat little trick there. I wouldn't expect anything else from a secret fort. This looks like a corner of the Nebel Valley. Shara, should we help the hostages escape first? No, we need to take out the Sky Bandit boss first. If we're attacked while attempting to escape, there's no way we'll be able to protect that many people. Oh, that's true. Well, how about we get back in there and face and have a face-to-face -face chat with the gentleman running this fine operation? Yeah, like maybe? Is there anything over here? Oh my god, it's a praying mantis. Ooh, treasure! Uh, yeah, save, save, there. Strega R, that's the boots, right? Hmm. Where's the lowest defense? No, no, no. Can I... I, I wish I could just, like, go through before chaining anything. You already have Strega. Work boots? Work boot 70, because you are way less than Estelle. Alright. We'll go a little bit south. We'll avoid the praying mantis. We'll run into this wall. Have we been here before? Cronus, shouldn't you go save the hostages? I mean, you're not wrong. Bear claw. Okay, 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 okay! We're seeing enemies that we fought before. Let's go back and save the hostages. They're probably like, oh god, no, we don't want to be hostages anymore. Fine. We'll come back here and save you. No. Oh, this is a new enemy, right? And it's a surprise attack. I think this is a new enemy. Icicle. You just froze Joshua. Dick! Uh, in the fire. Of course it's fire, so let's attack. Good job. Uh, art, fire, go after that one. You have fire too. I mean, you don't have fire too, you have fire bolt as well. Don't freeze anyone, you son of a bitch! What did I just say? That didn't kill him though. Fire bolt on you. Oh, I. I'm not happy about that. We need to heal up before we go eavesdrop on the boss. Man, that was tricolored rice neat. That was crap everything. Except for the fact that you froze me and did a lot of damage to me. It's the right way still? Yeah, it is. All right. Let's go in. Should probably heal up. You're not wrong. Let's do that. Do that again. That's, that's good enough. All right. Treasure. Reviving bomb. Well, I didn't read the other chest. Woe is me. The treasure chest of defender that you have returned was the first time not good enough for you. Giggity? All right, eavesdrop. Yeah, eavesdrop and then raid. Is that Dawn? <laughs> so the queen's gonna pay us the ransom, is she? Now we can finally say goodbye to this meager living. Don't get careless, bro. We haven't got the money in hand yet. Yeah, and we'll need to decide on a plan on how to let the hostages go. <laughs> let the hostages go? Now, to, now, hold on a minute. Why do we have to bother with that? Uh, but... Once we get our mirror, we'll just kill them all and be done with it. But we have no need to leave them alive. D Don! You're, you're joking, right? They know exactly what we look like, remember? 
Even if we let left liberal for good, we would still be tracked, right? But there are old people and kids among them. Do you really intend to kill them all? I swear, no matter how old you get, you never grow up. This isn't playtime, get it? But I... I'm sorry to say this, bro, but I'm against killing the hostages, too. Adios would never forgive us if we did that. And I don't want to go to our home... I, and I don't want to get our home back with mere stain in the blood of an innocent people. Darts? Kyle? Since when did you become the boss around here? Huh? I think it's about time you learned your place! Ugh! Kyle! <laughs> How, who cares about our old home? With this kind of mirror coming in, what could possibly what could you possibly want with our old worthless land? <laughs> we're gonna blow all this cash somewhere with the we're near the southern resort and enjoy the life for a while. What did you say? And once we run out of mirror, we'll just hijack another ship. This is gonna be the future of the Kapua. Kapua? Yeah, Kapua Sky Bandits. <laughs> Don, what's happened to you? What Ardeus' name has happened to you? Sorry to interrupt, but could you have your little family feud later? Y you again? Braces! Why are you here? How can you say something so heartless? Especially after you gave us a little lift in your own ship. Impossible. What are you talking about? It can't be. You had your ship sitting in front of the Amber Ambrel Tower, right? We just slipped in when you weren't looking and hid in the cargo hall. In other words, we stole a ride from a bandit. Ha! Take that! For a dimwit, you've really outdone yourself this time. Who are you calling a dimwit? You two-faced tomboy? What'd you call me? You bimbo airhead. <laughs> you don't hear bimbo that often these days. You bimbo airhead brute. Just, just say that again. All right, all right. Enough of the bickering between you two. We've liberated the hostage and defeated the other members of your group. So it looks like that all that's left is you three. In accordance to the, uh, with the laws of the Braces Guild, you are hereby placed under arrest. It would be best not to resist. Man. C crap Kyle? Josette? What is the meaning of this? Sorry, bro. I'm sorry, Don. <laughs> That's okay. I'll forgive you this once. Once I kill them, that'll be that. What? <laughs> what a bunch of fools you are. To think that that pitiful member of pe pitiful number of people that you could ever capture Don Koopa. Koopa? Koopa. Is that a cannon? That is a fucking cannon. Ah! Look at how effortlessly he handles that orbital cannon. Kyle, Josette, it's time to hunt some game. And, and I like my sport dirty. Alright, so go after the weakest first. I'm just gonna assume it's Josette preparing an art. Well, Art, you fantastic. Um, let's see. You are weak to everything but the spell I have selected. You are weak to nothing. You are weak to nothing. So, she is the weakest in terms of HP. I'm not sure about damage. Okay. That's the plan, then. Let's go attack you. Good job. That seems about right. You, ooh, no. You, yes. Ooh, that hurt. All right, craft. You, you knocked her out of the circle. You blinded her, which was also nice. Uh, let's do, does this hurt? Does Petrify Breath hurt? Doesn't matter, that's not the one we want because it's not strong against him. There you go. Dope. Good job. Petrify Breath, you dick. Thank you for not working. I do have my ultimates, or super crafts, or whatever they're called, willing and ready to be used. Maybe after we kill everyone. What were you saying about it? No. Yo. Kyle, dog. Bad. You can fire on her when you're ready. You can... Let's try breath this dude. Ow, quit it. Okay, she's done. Alright, you know what? Yeah, you attack him. I don't think I've seen this yet. Oh, is, <laughs> was that a panoramic shot? Oh, that's not that bad. Okay, whip him real good. Oh, I have, Shara. I mean, he has. 
Sure, you have like no EP left. When the hell did that happen? All right, Joshua, go ahead. Don't kill him. I want Estelle to finish him off. Good job. Okay, Estelle, now that I've said I want you to finish him off, please do. I think we need a cooler finisher for you. Sixty? Eh, that's not bad. That's a lot of Septith. These guys are tough. So this is the strength of a bracer, huh? C crap! How could I lose to this girl? And that's how it's done. Have you learned your lessons yet? Now that has been settled, I'm going to ask you to surrender nicely. Any more trouble out of you, and well, you know what will happen, right? Charizard stroked her whip and smiled at Josette. Y yikes! N no, anything but that! Why me? Why did I have to go down like this? Um... Oh... What's going on? I uh, heard all over. And when did I get an orbital cannon? What the heck? Oh, we're... okay, so you had red eyes before, so you were under control, huh? Bro? Don? Josette, are you not related to them? Oh, Josette, are you back from Merlin already? If you're back this quickly, then I guess things didn't work out, huh? Huh? <laughs> Don't try and cover it up. If you had enough, then how about leaving the breadwinning to us men? We probably won't be able to earn a whole lot, but be patient. D Don, what are you talking about? Did you hit your head, bro? Joseph came back from Roland like forever ago. I went to pick her up right after we attacked the airliner. What? Attacked the airliner? What's all this crazy talk? We never do something like that. Hey, what is this guy talking about? I don't think he's trying to cover his butt. I think he really doesn't know. Come to think of it, uh, who are these strangers? Don't tell me they're new recruits. Sorry to burst your bubble, but we're not. We're with the Bracer Guild. Huh? What are a bunch of braces doing up here? This guy has completely lost his marbles. <laughs> what an interesting turn of events. Whether you're forgotten or not, you're still under arrest. You're charged with hijacking the airliner, hostage-taking, uh, hostage demanding a ransom, and other such offensives. Oh, he seems scared. Hijacking an airliner? Hostage-taking? Demanding a ransom? Kyle, Josette, tell me this is some kind of joke. Don, I think that's my line. But thanks to you, bro, we've got a chance to escape. Are we really just gonna fall for that? Ah! Oh, hell, not again! Hey! Kyle! We'll talk about this later. We Let's just focus on getting out of here. Cough, cough. I'm cough. Never going to cough. Get the smell out of this... Uh, out of, smell of this out of my cough hair. Let's hurry and get out of this room! Which way did they go? Which way did they go? Which way did they go, George? Uh, they went on... They went up. They're going to try and escape on the airship. Ah! Uh, after tracking them this far, we can't let them get away. We've got to catch them. Right. Understood. <laughs> I've made it out alive. Oh, what a tragedy this has become. My delicate nasal cavities. Hey, Oliver, you better hurry or we're going to leave you behind. Uh, uh, wait, wait for me. Uh, okay, we're not actually hurrying? All right, cool. I thought we were actually going to hurry. But like, are these guys still here? Yeah, they are. Where'd all the bodies I left go? That's what I wanted. Did we let the monster eat them? Oh, uh, hold it right there, you. You're not getting past us. You guys are back for more after taking a righteous beating like that? Now, that's what I call tough. Hmm. If you don't want to move, then we if they if you don't want to move, then we're just gonna have to force our way through. I mean, all right. Oh, we used all that crap. These guys are not that strong. I need to heal though. You're not wrong. I missed. I think that means I have to kiss them now? Yeah, that sounds about right. Are any of them dead? None of them are dead. Yeah, uh, Joshua's gonna die. No, he's not. Joshua's gonna live. Joshua's gonna die. Item? Joshua lives! 
All right, they weren't gonna go after Joshua anyways. We're out of S uh, EP. Makes sense. Why, Kronos? Because I held down the button, Kronos. You got a problem with that? Yeah, Kronos, that was a waste of a freaking item. This, does, this game doesn't even have like, I guess it does have memory cursor, but like you were pressing the button. You're a dumbass. All right, let's heal up a little bit. Where are my healing items? Healing, EP charge. Okay, hear me out on this one. No. Um, do we have any meals? Like the go meals? Or sit meat meals? You can make one of those. You can make one of these. Sure. What is this? Maybe we'll make one of those too. I mean, I, should, I definitely should heal. Even if I am going to be using mainly melee attacks with some people. Is that going to be a thing? Don't get attacked by the enemy. Oh, God. Just keep running past the monsters. They're passive anyways. That's not true. Oh, God damn it. You know, this place is a lot more confusing when you're trying to work your way out of it. that and there no of course not Kronos does that look like an exit look look more fodder <laughs> I mean they're dumb I don't know why like they would even think to stand a chance against us you know on the upside though getting a good amount of fire septus that's what I want what I really really want because that's like the lowest one I had it's actually it's pretty comparable to the other ones I have now which is great, because I think I got a few slots I need to unlock. I think I already did one on Joshua. I think I need to do another one on Shara. Really? Did we fight three groups of you? I mean, you're not wrong. His spirit is admirable, but still at the same time. I thought you guys were like all... I'm not dead. I mean, I wish you were dead. That would have saved me a lot of trouble. Hey, Oliver leveled up. Go, Oliver. I need to heal again. I kind of didn't realize how much of my damage output came from my uh, arts and crafts. Oh, man. I actually just got that. All right. Uh, <laughs> arts and crafts. Huh? Is that why they named it that? Hey, the Imperial Arm. Hey, Dorothy and uh, Nile. Huh? What's this? It looks like the Imperial Forces. How did the army find out about this place? That liar! Things weren't supposed to go down like this. Hey, get your dirty hands, uh, dirty mitts off of me. Uh, hey, w what's going on here? Aw, uh, I kind of feel bad for that one. So those are the ringleaders of the Sky Bandits. I'm surprised there's such a young woman too. How about you shut your yap and start taking some good pictures? What are the chances of getting another scoop like this? So how about it, Niall? Is this enough to get you uh, to help you write a decent article? You bet it is. I'm really grateful that you took us along. Oh, and would you mind if I took a picture? If we took a picture of you while we're at, we're at it? Hmm. What do you think, General Morgan? Do as you like. This plan was successful thanks to your genius. In all honesty, this is truly something to boast about. No, this was just the result of the accuracy of the intelligence uh, division's analysis. And thanks to the cooperation of those standing over there. What? Um, what do you guys, I mean, how the heck? What's going on exactly? It's you kids again. Hey look, it's Estelle and Joshua! Bracers, why are you here? Just for the record, I'll tell you. We infiltrated this place one step ahead of you, again. And the entire hydro has been subdued. We chased the fleeing Sky Bandits leader up this way, but I never would have guessed that the Royal Army's patrol ship would be waiting. Grr, once again you overstep your bounds! With all due respect, General, it was because of them that our military strikes saw this level of success. Therefore, shouldn't we tur in turn recognize their achievements? Dots. 
Do as you wish. I'll leave the rest up to your discretion. I'll return to the ship and see what information I can get out of those Sky Bandits. Very well, General. I've already forgot how I was supposed to be voicing that guy, whether like, funnily or seriously. That all means as stubborn as ever. He's not a bad person, j he just lacks a little flexibility. That aside, where are the other Sky Bandits and the hostages? The other lackeys should be just lying all over the place unconscious. And as for the hostages, we have them waiting in the same room they were present in. I see. You have done this nation a great service. Please leave the transportation of the hostages and the cargo to us. Let's move, uh, Captain Amalthea? Amalthea? Um, oh, yeah, okay. I'm like, why does that name sound? Amalthus from Xenoblade. Yes, Colonel. I don't know why I sound like this now. Uh, uh wait for me, Colonel. I'd really like to interview you kids, but this time the Colonel is top priority. But if we have another opportunity, I appreciate doing one with you too. See you later, Estelle Joshua. Bye, Dorothy. I like you. My, my, my. You had your whole shining moment uprooted and stolen just like that. You got that right. Don't let it bother you, Estelle. The race's role has always been the, that of an unsung hero. So there's no real reason for us to stand out. That sounds about right, yeah. Dad always ha made a point of staying in the background, too. Really? I never noticed. Probably because you're out front. Ah! Where is Dad? Hmm, I guess that's the other problem we still have to figure out. Where is Dad now? What is he doing? And why hasn't he tried to contact us? Um... It looks like there's nothing else for us to do here. In the meantime, let's get back to Bose and report what ha the, what, uh, what happened with that incident. With the incident. We'll try and figure out what to do about your dad after that. I mean, I got a jeweled ring to... I guess we're just gonna go to the Bracer Guild? I really appreciate all your hard work. It appears that my impression about you was right. I knew that you would come through and bring closure to this incident. Yeah, but the army took off with the, all the glory. So I don't know if, it, if we could exactly say that we solved the case. No, that's not true. If you hadn't been there, I don't know if the army, army's raid would have been so successful. Backed in a co into a corner as they were, the Sky Bandits may very well have harmed the hostages. Agreed. Everything worked out because you infiltrated their hideout and took them on. Uh, took them out ahead of time. You should be proud of that, of what you've done. Do you really think so? Tee I don't like saying tee It's true that the hostages were freed and the Sky Bandits arrested, but it's a bit vexing to know that we are, there are still some unanswered questions left. The men who appeared at the Valeria Lakeshore and the mystifying attitude of the leader of the Sky Bandits. I think we should really consider there is a lot behind this incident that we don't know about. Clearly, the leader was being controlled. He had red eyes, we knocked the shit out of him, and then he was all nice, kind of? I mean, he's still kind of a Sky Bandit because he did want to steal that gem, right? So he still should be in jail, but the hostages... That seems to be the, the work of a, a puppet master or something. Well, I guess we'll just leave the, that part up to the Royal Army to figure out. Uh, probably not, actually. We'll probably actually have to deal with that. With all the culprits being detained by them, there's really not much left for us we can do. Anyway, we should just be glad that all the hostages came back safe. All but one. I mean, I guess he was never really a hostage if he didn't get kidnapped. Thanks to the news about the arrest of the Sky Bandits, things are returning normal here in town. As a token of my thanks, I've added a bit of a bonus to your reward. Really? Are you okay with that? She better. I want more. Haha, <laughs> of course I am. I'd like to thank you too, Oliver. Ha! <laughs> I just hope that my work was worth the price of the Grand Chardonnay. Yes, in fact, there was a, ch was a change of spare. I hope all of you have a wonderful day, and if anything else comes up, I'd greatly appreciate your help again. Good day, dot dot dot. I look tired. I'm a slave, really, not a maid. Wow, nice that someone appreciates us. I'm sure that if the incident had gone on any longer, it would have caused much more confusion. It's probably only natural that the mayor is happy that as she is. Hee <laughs> hee, now I'm starting to feel all giddy inside. I don't think a bracer could be any more happy than knowing her work to help out a, lot of, a bunch of other people. Huh, <laughs> if you say so. But I think it's safe to say that you're no longer greenhorns. Honestly, the two of you really surprised me this time. Tee hee! Oh, you think so? At any rate, please accept your ass assessment and pay for clearing up the incident. Thank you. 8,000! 
10. Here's the pay, pay the mayor was talking about. It's a very, very nice sum. And this is from me. Recommendation. Isn't this a recommendation from the Bose branch? Is it all right that you all right to give us this so soon? I mean, we've been here a while, dog. Of course, it would be downright rude of me not to recommend you after resolving such a big incident. Please accept it. Thank you, Lugrin. We'll work hard so you don't uh, so we don't bring any embarrassment to the to this on this recommendation. <laughs> Great work, you two. I'm sure your father would be extremely pleased if he heard the news. Sh sure. Oh, is this so sad? You're probably right. Oh, Joshua's sad too. I wonder what on earth Cassius could be doing right now. Not contacting the guild is one thing, but not contacting his family is a completely different matter. Yeah, it's definitely not like him. After he suddenly disembarked, uh, disembarked from the airliner in Bose, I wonder where he could have gone. Excuse me, please. Young man's voice. Aren't you the receptionist from the landing port? What's the matter? You see, we've recovered some of the cargo stolen from by the bandits, uh, Sky Bandits, and among some of the pieces were a number of parcels addressed to the Bracer Guild. So I'm here to deliver one of them today. I appreciate you doing that. But wait a minute. Why is there something addressed to this branch where the airliner left Bose to begin with? It's actually addressed to the Roland branch. And aren't Cassius's bright family members here? What? That's us, but... Oh, perfect! We contacted the Roland branch and they said you had come here. Here you are. This is the parcel. The snow was given both letters and parcel. Parcel's just like a package, right? This letter, yep. It is in Dad's handwriting. It's addressed to Joshua and I at the Roland branch. It seems as if he just scribbled it out before he got off the airliner. I guess Dad did intend on getting in contact with us after all. Oh! Well, that's good to hear. So that parcel is from your dad, too. No, this one looks like it was sent to my dad by someone else. Huh? That's odd. Yeah, the sender hasn't written their name anywhere. Ooh, secret admirer? Okay, my business here is done. I'll see you on, on my way. I'll be on my way. So I'll be on my way. There you go. Oh, and one more thing. Good job in helping the rest of those Sky Bandits. You bracers should do excellent work. Aw, oh, thank ya. And to think, what a, that, to think that a clue about your father would be mixed in with the airliner's cargo. Feel free to use the lounge upstairs to read this le his letter, if you like. Thanks, Lundgren. Huh. <laughs> well then, let's have a look at the contents, shall we? Yeah, but like... I want to turn in that ring? You mean tell me what you're still doing here? <laughs> oh, Oliver. It's just plain and simple curiosity, that's all. Why did your father disembark the airliner prior to, the, to its departure? Were I forced to wait around for an answer, the question would stick in my mind so I'd never be able to sleep at night. And you're telling me this because... Oh, how heartless and cruel you can be to a companion who's traveled alongside you. And just who is it you have to thank for being able to infiltrate the Sky Bandit's hideout, I wonder? All right, already. You can be rather obnoxious. You can be a rather obnoxious fellow. I hope you know. I guess we don't have much of a choice. However, depending on the content, we may have to ask you to leave. Okay? Ha! <laughs> of course I understand. All right, let's see what he has to say. Stell so cut open the letter. Dear Stell and Joshua, I'm sure you're probably about finished with the jobs I left for you, right? I'm also sure that there are many things you'll have trouble with in the beginning, but take each one at step, uh, each one step at a time. I know you both can succeed. Anyways, it turns out I've had a little trouble on my, with my own work. And unfortunately, it looks like I won't be able to make it home for quite some time. Please don't expect my return until after the Queen's birthday celebration. I'm really sorry that things turned out like, this, they, like they did, but you should, pro you should be grown up enough not to be lonely while I'm away. So until I get back, I'll leave it up to the both of you to decide how, my, how you want to live. You're free to continue working and rolling, or you're free to pursue qualifying as senior braces. Your 16th, uh, 16th year is a vintage year in your life, so make sure not to waste it. Too late, buddy! Please give my regards to Charizard and Aina. Cash is bright. That seems to be, seems like the type of letter your father would write. It touches lightly on things, but is full of consideration towards the both of you. Yeah, it looks that way. The Queen's birthday celebration, is it? From what I've heard, that's still a ways off. Yep, it's about two or three months away. Good lord. Which means that this would be the perfect time to take a small trip. <coughs> small trip? Apparently my throat is giving out. I wonder where your father is and what he's up to. Dots. Dots. Forget about that and let's focus on what's in the package. 
What's in the box? With an unknown sender, there's bound to be something interesting inside. To be honest, I'm pretty curious myself. But we shouldn't be opening things addressed to my dad. Why, do, why don't you think of it this way? It was a package delivered by an unknown sender about the time your father disappeared. The two might be related, you know? That That's true. Oliver, don't coax Estelle into doing something to satisfy your curiosity. Actually, though, Oliver does have a good point. Instead of leaving it until our dad comes home, it might be worth looking into. It's going to be a lot of porn, isn't it? Okay, let's check it out. Don't be a lot of porn. It is... What the fuck is that? Uh, hemispherical? Hemisphere? Uh, ser uh, spherical. Hemispherical. I can't... S words hurt sometimes in my brain. I don't know why. Uh, it also enclosed was a single mumble memo with the item. Actually, all words hurt my words hurt my brain. Apparently, what's this supposed to be? It's an ornament, although I'm not sure what it's used for. Let's see what the memo says. I was able to secure the item. Uh, the aforesaid group was carrying. Aforesaid. I don't think I've ever used like seen that word. It sounds familiar, so I probably have in a book somewhere. So please take care of it. Please ask Pro Professor R to do an analysis of it when you find an opportunity. K. Okay. Th that's it? Yeah, but it looks like the center didn't write anything else. Shira, do you have any idea who K or Professor R might be? I know who K might be from Digimon Cyber Sleuth 2, but I don't think that's actually connected here. Um, I hate to say this, but I don't have a clue for either. Your father's pretty well known, so there's a possibility these people could be foreigners, too. Is this the only thing we've got to go on? Then honestly, I'm about to ready to throw in the towel. What the heck is this black ornament anyway? From the shape alone, it doesn't look like anything intended for general use. Although it feels a little similar to a battle ornament. Even so, it's still quite different. A normal battle ornament has slots in which to install quartz. But this one, this one has none. Maybe this one is an artifact. An artifact? Precisely, an artifact is an ornament created in, by an ancient civilization. Artifacts are the models for all ornaments produced today. They're still occasionally discovered in ruins, and for the most part, the Septon Church has custody over them. They're a type of antique, so to speak. But this one doesn't appear to be that old. It looks to me like it was made recently. You're right about that. However, this one almost seems like a black market item. Jeez, now look at what's happened because of my good-for-nothing dad! Doesn't he know that we're all worried about him? Uh, Estelle? Now he's getting some sketchy getting some sketchy item from an unknown sender. What in the world has my dad gotten himself into this time? Estelle? Thoughts? You know, Estelle, I've been thinking. How about we continue our journey? Huh? Joshua? That's what dad wrote in his letter, right? He said... Or are or your or your freedom to pursue qualifying as senior racers? Yeah, he did say that, but we already managed to get recommendations from Roland and Bose, right? All that's left is Ruin, Zeist, and Gransel. Uh, only those three. If we do if we do jobs as we travel around these other regions, we'll just we just might hear something about where Dad is or what he's doing. I think we're we'll just worrying ourselves for nothing, considering Dad's skills. And there's also the possibility that he may have even traveled abroad. But I think getting off our own duffs... Is that... Is that word for butts? It's a lot better than sitting around and waiting. Duff? Duffs butts. Duffs but I like butts better. Or rumps. And we just might be able to find this Professor R, too. Dots? Um, Joshua? What? You're a genius! Estelle... What are you talking about? This is like killing two birds with one stone, or maybe even ten! Sometimes I hate you for being so smart. So should I consider that a yes? Oh, is it ever? Yes, yes, triple yes! Training to be a senior to be senior braces as we travel around liberal? And exposing what that good no good no good middle-aged man has been doing in the process? Um I think you're somehow missing the point. <laughs> it looks like she's back to her old self. <laughs> I guess it's settled then. Yeah, but like, I got a ring to return. Oh my god, are you two leaving my party? No! 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 I need to unequip you of everything. 
Wait, I think someone said they already unequipped themselves automatically. Well, take care. I'm going to going to head back to roll it now. That said, I'm a little worried about you two. Are you sure you don't want me to come along? Yes, I do. Please come with me, Shara. Give it a rest, Shara. We'll be fine. Estelle, shut your fucking mouth. Get in the party, Shara. The whole reason we're going on this trip is to become senior braces. It wouldn't be training anymore if you came with us. Shut up! I, I want her in my party. She has the only multi-targeting spell. If you didn't, and if you didn't go back, the Roland Branch would have a hard time managing things. Don't worry about us. We'll figure out a way to get things done. Well, if you insist, and it's pretty rare for someone your age to be aiming for senior braces status, so don't overdo it. And if you run into any trouble, contact the Roland Branch. You got it? I'll come running no matter where you are. Sure thing. Thanks. Uh, sure. Thanks, Shara. And the same goes for you. Don't get yourself too liquored up. That's the only thing I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'll watch the number of drinks. Huh. Never fear, my dear children. You can count on me to protect fair Shara. And why are you heading to Roland? Not to mention with Shara. That's because I tasted all there is to taste of the local dishes here in Bose, and I thought it was about time I turned my attendance towards another region. As for Roland's cuisine, I've heard the, pr the produce is just to die for. So what's um? So that's what I'm looking forward to next. That's pretty much it. He says he wants me to introduce him to a nice restaurant and some lovely vegetables or some nonsense. That's weird, Oliver. You're a weird dude. Since she's so persistent, I only agreed to him coming along under the condition that he go drinking with me at the bar. Well, never see him alive again. Oliver, I really hope you understand what you've promised her. Ha! I could die for the likes of fine women and food. Part of me longs to be by your side as you continue your journey, Joshua. But after many agonizing hours of consideration, I decided to accompany Fair Char Charizard instead. I think I'll be better off with you a uh, safe distance away from me. I'll have fun, but I'm warning you, don't dare take make any trouble in rolling, you hear me? And here's another piece of advice. When Cher is at the bar, watch out. That's when the gloves come off. I'm seriously not joking when I say she you should beware. How dare you speak about your mentor like that, Estelle? And besides, Haina's coming along too. Yeah, and she's even worse than you. The gloves come off, huh? Is that, perchance, what you and Estelle were talking about before? Yeah, Estelle said it was best, though. Said it best, though. It was nice knowing you. Yes, it was a pleasure. <laughs> uh? Rolling bound airliner will be departing. No! Don't go! Can I at least have your ornaments? Please? Shara, don't leave. Shara, wait! Can we talk this over? I'd really appreciate it if I had just a little more time to think things through. Surely you're not getting cold feet already. If you consider yourself a man, then quit acting like a ninny. Eek! Now, oh, bye, Oliver. See you later, Cher. He's gonna have, like, whip scars on his back. Give her regards to everyone in Roland. Have a wonderful trip, you two. So apparently it's a long episode today. This ships look really familiar. They, um, I need need to see it again. But do they look? They kind. Do the skies of Arcadia ships look like that? Legend of Hero Trails of the Sky, Chapter One: Disappearance of the Lindy. Save. That's love and peace, baby. Ah, it's Oliver and Cher in the cheap. They better come back. Save. Uh, well, let me save here, I guess. And I guess that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the link below if you're not subscribed yet. When you get to my video section, check out some of the content and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day.